I'm about to receive a gaming laptop. I'm worried that my girlfriend will break up with me. So yesterday, after three years of saving, I purchased a very high-end gaming laptop and I intend to use it. But my girlfriend is worried that she will get tired of not being able to text me for a few hours at a time. I'm trying to make her sign up for Discord so that we can call sometimes while I'm playing games and so that she can see my screen. But she keeps telling me that she will be bored and might eventually break up with me. <laughs> I will have Instagram open on my computer to talk to her. Obviously, I won't be spending the majority of my time doing that. And we will still see each other almost every day at school. But I would like advice on how to reassure her or how to handle this. She doesn't play any games except Among Us on her phone. How do couples with only one gamer work out? Any advice appreciated? Okay, first of all, um, beverages. Thank you for all the emotes there. Oh, so and Solomon, communication is the foundation to everything. Be curious, ask questions, receive criticism well, use your self-awareness to internalize things, to build to tools to help yourself grow. Also, like, we are human beings and we have weaknesses. And if you, if, if someone is, in a way, evoking a negative emotion from you, if they're making you anxious, if they're making you sad, if they're making you mad, like, those emotions are, it's a radar for you to be like, hey, there's not something right with this situation. Let me communicate and take that criticism in a, a positive way and like figure out how I can evolve from it. But okay, Solomon, Solomon and I are on the same page. I feel like Solomon might be the only one who's listening to me. So first and foremost, 18 years old, this is a very young relationship. These are probably very young kids who- They're in love. Yeah, they're in love. Um, but also I think like, this is probably the first time like that trauma is starting to come out. Right. So this girl seems like an anxious attachment type to me. Um, the fact that she can't be comfortable with her boyfriend playing video games for a few hours and not communicating with her, like that's an issue. Why are you raising your eyebrows at me? Hey, you know what? There's nothing wrong with anxious att attachment people. I'm an anxious attachment as well. Um, but you got to know what your attachment style is, right? So she's an anxious attachment. I feel like she should be comfortable with her boyfriend playing video games for a few hours. And it seems like he's being mindful of her needs. And he's like, I'm going to put up my Instagram and stuff like that. But like, I can't be at her beck and call, which I don't think that's right to be at anybody's beck and call. Like, we're all human beings and we all get busy and we have stuff to do, right? And she needs to be mindful of that. Um, Wookie Pie said, notice me, senpai. Hello. I think, Alex said, I think scheduling game time is fine. Scheduling time with the girlfriend is important too. I like that. I think it's a mistake to try and play games and have a channel open might be a mistake. Interesting. So, Alex, I can see that perspective because it's like, frankly... I'd be very annoyed if Dustin was like, hey, um, when you're gaming, I need you to make sure you're able to respond to me and um, make sure you have a, a conversation open with me. That would not make me happy. I'd be like, Dustin, I love you. We are together. Let me like, obviously you're feeling insecure in this moment. So let me feel like make you feel secure. I love you. I'm like here for you but like I need my gaming time yeah Wookie said she needs to figure out how to do her own thing without the boyfriend yeah I think what's sweet here is that the boyfriend is like really trying to be mindful of of her trauma you know like he can tell that she's like insecure and you know um I don't want to say clingy I think ev I, I think I'm clingy I think everybody is different 18 years old though you gotta think of what you were like in a relationship true Dustin points this out all the time because like when you're 18 this love to like one and only. Yes. They winked at me. I love them. We're yes. Getting married. Yes. And then they get the idea we might not get married. What? This is the end of the world. I am going to jump off a bridge. Yes. Okay. Whoa, Dustin. <laughs> we didn't need the last part. I swimming, I mean. Oh my goodness, Dustin. But yeah, no, that's true. Um, it is. It's like there when you're eight, when you're a teenager, like you don't understand that, like. There's going to be so many other people, unless you're extremely lucky, you know, like sometimes there are those people who are like high school sweethearts, but it doesn't happen all the time. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was another one I read. I think that I, they're very young. I don't know if the relationship will last. 
I hope that the um the gamer boy is able to put down boundaries and be like, hey, like I love you. I'm gonna make you feel secure. Like I'm I'm here for you whenever you need, but like I need to be able to play my games. This is how I escape. This is what I need for my mental health. Like he needs to be able to lay down boundaries. And I think for her, like she needs to respect his boundaries. And I hope that he lay, lays down those boundaries, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Aw, Canon. Wookie said, oh, young love. Yeah, so young love. Um, how do couples with only one gamer work out? Um, so I have been the one gamer in relationships. And I don't know, like, I just played and then, like, people were, like, respectful of my time. And I was respectful respectful of their time. They would go out golfing a lot um, or they would, like, go and hang out with their friends a lot. And that was fine.